Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. Today we are going to be setting up a Packer build pipeline for those Minecraft images that we that we built. Uh, one for a local Minecraft image and one for a, a Minecraft server that uses Blobfuse as the backing store. <clears throat> so uh, this will be a multi-part series where we set up the Packer build pipelines to, to pump out versions of the VM images, and then we set up Terraform to start using those images from the virtual uh, virtual machine uh, shared, 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 uh, shared compute gallery. I don't know why I can't say that. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, um, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. So I'm in Azure DevOps here. I'm in my infrastructure. And um, let's see here. I've got a repo for uh, my virtual machine images. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna set up a new repo where I'm gonna provision my Packer or my my Minecraft environment. Okay, so this is gonna be my Minecraft infrastructure. So I've I've got a new. Uh, Got a new Git repo. Let's go create a new window. Maximize terminal. Where am I at? Where am I at? Open folder. This happens on my Ubuntu. I'm, I'm not sure why. Let's just open that folder for now. I, I don't think it will let me open a terminal unless I've opened a folder. So now let's go to, this is Azure DevOps. And this is in infra. So we're gonna git clone and we're gonna paste Minecraft, okay. So now uh, let's open that folder. I don't know why it opens behind, it's really ridiculous. There we go. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my template for building Terraform, where, where am I at here? For building Terraform and Packer Okay, on um, and I'm, I'm going to copy and paste it into my uh, Minecraft infrastructure. I'm going to create a Packer folder for my Minecraft templates. And my Minecraft templates, I got two. One is over here um, from episode 16, which this one, which one is this? This is this is provisioning to my local okay yeah so i can just copy all of these things and then we're going to drop this into so in my packer i'm going to create a minecraft uh actually we'll just call this local we'll just call this local storage maybe local storage that's a little bit more local storage and let's paste all that stuff in there okay so let's check this out. Um, we need to bring over some of the improvements that we made um, last episode to the parameterization of our things. So if I go look at, oh, let, before I do that, let me, let me get everything that I need from the GitHub repo. So I need my, uh, this is my Blobfuse version. So I'm just gonna grab the Packer template here and the files, I need the files. I can't copy them both, I guess. <laughs> so let's just get that pasted in there and then let's just copy this folder. Whoa, what happened? Oh, what is happening? Don't do that, Ubuntu. Why you do that? Why you do that, Ubuntu? So annoying. Okay, so were you, were you, remember, reminder, we're using the MSI mode. Um, I could make a modification of this to use uh, account. And this is all same, same, same. Okay, so now I don't think I need, I don't think I need this right now. Nope. So we do need to go take the goodness from our other, that we improved last episode, I think episode 19. And we're going to bring this forward to these templates. So I've got a, I'm going to have a environment for dev and prod where I deploy my Minecraft servers, right? And I think right off the bat, 
the gallery is the, this this is these are the values that we want so let's go look and see um, we've got these we do need to bring over that variable that we declared um, I'm looking in the wrong <laughs> the wrong file because we added the VM size variable right so we're gonna add the VM size variable to both of these because it's now in our TFR thing and if you try and use a variable that doesn't exist, you're going to have problems, my friends. In this case, we're not even using it. Let's go ahead and update that to, to, to use that. Bada bing, bada boom. And I think, I think this, is all, this has all been done. This is all set. This is all wonderful. So yeah, so we now what we need to do is let's go just commit this stuff. Do I need to, should I bring like a git ignore or something? Surely, surely I have a git ignore that, that I should bring over. I don't know. I, I don't, I didn't actually, I don't think I've actually done terraform state or put, put hidden files in these because I don't need to, I'm not running these local. So I don't think I have a git ignore that I need to worry about per se. So yeah, I guess, yeah, this is all good stuff. This is all good. So, okay, initial uh, check-in. So this is gonna give us all the things where we, we haven't set up, uh, you know, Git flow at all. Okay, so I've got my two packer templates, local storage and then blob view storage. And kind of, kind of like, We'll just call this blob storage. And the fact that it uses blobs, blob views, implementation detail. There we go, commit and push. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Wonderful. So my pipelines are there. I have all the things. So let, let's go set up the pipelines. So I'm gonna go into my Packer images and I'm going to create a new folder, not in baseline Ubuntu. I'm going to create a folder called Minecraft. Okay. And then I'm going to create a new folder called local storage. You see how I love folders. Just love, love all these E folders. And I'm going to create blob storage. And now we need to create a dev and a prod pipeline in here. So it's pretty quick. Existing pipeline. Let's find our Packer file, Packer build file. Bada bing, bada boom. By the, by the, so I'm going to make four of these. By the time I'm done, let's, let's see if I have this fully memorized. Um, it should be, should be pretty easy. So this is dev. Yeah. Um, so I need an environment name which is dev. I need um, a working directory, which is Packer Minecraft. What, what is the path? I, I'm totally failing here. Uh, actually, it's not Minecraft. This is Packer blob storage. So what are we doing? We're doing local storage. Yeah, that, that is the path. That's it. And then we need, what, what else do we need? I'm pretty sure we have like a primary, primary location, which if we go can check the Oracle, check the pipeline, what, it, what is that variable actually called? Mm. We have an image name. Now, I think I want to get rid of the image name because the image name should be in the, in the config. So we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. But primary location, and I, I forget what, what location, are we doing West, West US three? I, I can't remember what region. Oh, it's just West US. Okay. So we got to, well, let's keep this, keep the region kind of cons consistent. Okay. And then we need a credential for dev. There's, there's, uh, you know, there's so many, oh, I 
hate when I do that. I hate, I hate, hate, hate uh, accidentally hitting the save as draft. It's so annoying. Okay. Um, yeah, so the last thing I want to do, I don't want to pass in the image name as a parameter. Okay. Um, the image version, yes. Image name, no. Image name, we know at compile time, it's not going to change. Um, it will, it will always be the same. And where, where, where was, oh, where was it? Is it, is it embedded in my Packer template? Let's, let's go look. It's in, it's in my gallery. So I've got local. So that's the image name. Okay. So the image name, I stole VM size. I'm gonna, I'm gonna correct that right now. Image name. Okay, wonderful. And then we need image name over here. The image name is gonna be the same. Add, add image name to var file and we're using it from the var file like because we're no longer piping it in so the only the only values we need are primary location and then the environment name and the working directory and we should we should be good we should be good to go so let's go to our pipelines i think i have i got i got too many too many pipeline windows open here so my Minecraft local storage dev. I think this guy's ready. Let's let's run it. Okay, and then while it's doing that, I'm gonna go set up. I'm gonna set up one for prod. Something failed with the build. The working directory is not right. Let me, I always forget if like I need a slash or if I don't need a slash. And it looks like you don't need the slash. Um, sometimes you need the slash, sometimes you don't. I, I, I can never keep straight when you do and when you don't. It's, it's, quite, it's quite vexing, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. So we don't need the slash, okay. No slash. Take your take your pound of flesh. All right, let's run that. All right, and so now I'll go build the I'll go build the other. I'll go build the other Minecraft one for blob storage. Okay, so I got I got all those stubbed out. Let's see let's see what's not working, um, and we'll we'll try and get all of these working. Um, a used variable must be set and have a default value. The IP address. Um, are we are we not are we not getting that? Like how 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 is that? How are we not getting that? Oh, it's probably like a conflict. I think I called it in some projects. I call it agent IP address and in some projects I call it my IP address. And yeah, that's what's screwing me up. <laughs> naming conventions, my friends, naming conventions are so key, so key for repeatability in DevOps. So let's rerun that. All right, 
right, what's broken now? VM to oh, capital, 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 capital. How do how do I even have a capital? Like, here. Yeah. Did I do that? Or is that? I mean, I did it, or it like auto completed that way. Uh, type case sensitivity. Sensitivity will get ya. Case sensitivity will get you, folks. Okay. Let's run this again. What else? What else is going wrong? We still have my IP address. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> oh, good. If you, if you were watching me do this, you're probably like, Mark, Mark. You changed the variable declaration name, but you forgot to update the references. And I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you while you were screaming through your computer screen at me. <laughs> I wish I could, because God, this is such a bonehead move. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy. I love it. So many, so many, so many little uh, like debug diagnostic issues this episode. Like, I hope I hope you find this helpful. Like I, I I'm tr I'm trying not to make it seem like I get things right every the first time every time. <laughs> That's hilarious, right? Um, but some of these I don't know, you know, see, a lot of these training videos. It's like they they do everything perfectly, and if and and almost always like whenever I follow along, it's like um, I I don't do everything perfectly. I miss something. And then I'm like, well, what the heck? It didn't work. Oh, you know what? I probably didn't copy over all the files. Ah, to be human. To be human and to be so inept. It, it, it's, really, it's really painful, you know? Um, there we go. Uh, that, okay, let's, let's see. Eighth time is the charm. Add missing files from local. All right. Let's see if this is this is this our time? Is this our number? Is this the number? Yes. Are we in the money now? Come on. Okay. It's like we're we're good. We fixed all the oopsies that that Mark did. My bad. But anyways, I think these are I think these are all set. We're we're clearly snapping the image with uh, with Dev here. So um, I'm going to close this episode here. Next episode, we'll be we'll be uh, referencing these images that have been built out into our environments and building Dev and Prod Minecraft servers, both local and Blob. And uh, we'll we'll be showing you know how we how we use these Packer image pipelines. Um, and these shared galleries in production in a quasi production environment are production Minecraft servers, right? Um, to uh, to deploy to deploy infrastructure to de not just infrastructure, but to deploy applications to Azure. In this case, really cool applications called Minecraft Bedrock. Um, anyways, uh, I hope you like this episode. Uh, this is again part of a part of a one part of a series where we're going to be um, really taking the Minecraft image that we built to the next level and deploying it using Terraform and Azure DevOps pipelines in a lot of cool ways. Um, if you like this content and want to see more of it, please give me a like. It'll, it'll, it really hurts my feelings when you when you hover over the like button and you're like, uh-uh, no, no, I'm not going to like it. So please just smash that like button. I love it. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, also subscribe and hit that little bell so that you know next time I post a video, um, you'll be the first to know and you can go check it out. Anyways, uh, that's it from Azure Terraformer signing off for today. Sayonara. Thanks a lot.